I just wanted to add a little something to that video that I uploaded yesterday. Uh, another one of these fairly basic reminders, but one of these things that, that many of us need to hear over and over again for it to really digest and sink in. It being the, the trivial, superficial nature of the vast majority of rejections. Many men, many humans in general, regard rejection as this, this horrifically painful thing, even in its more trivial forms. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that we tend to take it very personally, as, as though they are rejecting us, me, in every sense of the word, as though they, they are recognizing that I am undeserving of love. Like, it sounds, it sounds ridiculous, because it is, but that's how many of us naturally perceive it, as being. And this is something that I've had to sit with and, and meditate on a lot, but it's also something that I've had to experience for myself to really recognize the truth in it, the, the truth of the fact that it is oftentimes quite trivial. And, and based upon things that are quite superficial. They're not really rejecting you in the sense that they, they are able to see who you are as a human being and they're assessing that completely. And based upon that assessment of who you are as a human being on a personal level, they want absolutely nothing to do with you. They recognize that you are just broken and unlovable and Last night, for example, I went out with a couple of friends, uh, bar hopping, and I started a conversation with this girl who was with her friend at the bar, and it was a you know, 60 second conversation. I didn't say anything weird, um, but she st she pulled one of these things, you know, like like looking at her friend and like doing that. And it wasn't like too it wasn't too blatant, but it was clear enough to where she was attempting to to say, "I don't want to talk to you." please leave me alone without saying it verbally. And this is something that I would have taken personally a couple of years ago. This is something that likely would have ruined my night a couple of years ago. And I would have been very self-pitying the rest of the night. And, um, and it just rolled right off my back because now I'm, I'm quite used to it. And I've also, again, why did she reject me? Was it because she saw that I was in, you know, a useless human being? Maybe, but probably not. She probably just, you know, wanted to talk to her friend. She probably has guys approaching her at the bar, trying to have sex with her at the end of the night um, all the time. And she just wants to fucking talk with her friend. And you could argue that, well, if you were better, if you were Chad, she would have gotten on her knees right then and there. Um, and even if that's the case, <laughs> which, you know, but even if that was the case, it's like, yeah, sure. People have preferences, right? Like not everyone's going to want to fuck you. Uh, and it may be the case that mm, the vast majority of people aren't going to want to fuck you. And you just got to kind of see, that's where the video takes a depressing turn. It, it, it is just the truth that many people are going to have a complete uh, <clears throat> voice crack. Just a complete lack of success in this area, regardless of, of what they do. But many, many people, there's a significant chance. That's the, the bright side, I guess. It is fucked. Um, yeah, life is unfair. Life is horrifically unfair, and there's no shortage of examples to be found of this, and this is just one of those examples of the unfairness of life. But, yeah, many men regard rejection, and even its more trivial forms, as this very, very painful thing, when typically it isn't anything personal at all, and, yeah, you if she doesn't want to talk to you, keep it moving. It's fine. It's not a big deal. There are going to be people that do want to talk to you. I did say this was a basic video, but it, again, it's one of these things that I recognize in myself. I need to repeat this to myself. I need to really sit with this 
and again experience it for myself to really recognize the validity the validity that exists in the statement that oftentimes rejection is this very trivial thing it's not anywhere near as horrific as we make it out to be in our heads overthinking 